Well, what we're hearing is, we're hearing that it's going to be his last fight. Or at least, that's what he's telling us. I'm T Street Controversy, this is T Street Controversy Live, July the 10th, 2015, 7.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Floyd Mayweather is supposed, or rumored, to be announcing his next opponent next week. The week starting, um, what is it, 11th, 12th, um, July the 13th, 2015. Rumors, or what I'm hearing, is that he's starting training camp on Monday. Now, of course, I know what you're going to say. Floyd Mayweather's in training camp all year round. Yes, I understand. I know that. I look at it like this. It's starting to pick up steam, and we talked about it before on this channel. The videos are here that Floyd Mayweather may be fighting on national television. Not NBC, but CBS Wise, because CBS is the parent company of Showtime. Viacom, oh, Viacom owns CBS, owns Showtime, and a whole bunch of other networks. And I believe Viacom is Spike TV too. Yeah, so, if you don't know, I have to take you back down memory lane. I got a lot of criticism, a lot of flack, a lot of bullshit from people that don't even know that I'm not the type of guy to make up some shit to say that my hands they're shaky I just got some news that Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao was official nobody believed me and I can understand why but did you see what I did right after that we provided full coverage Full, not just full coverage, but full official coverage as an official marketing promoting partner with Showtime of Mayweather versus Pacquiao. You forget we brought you the official press conference. You forget we brought you the, the official weigh-in, the official interview. You forget all that, don't you? It's those are those promos. A lot of those promos we had on this channel. And realcombatmedia.com, you saw nowhere else. So listen, I remember there was a time where myself, I was with another channel. That other channel had the nerve to say, T Street is lying. The four horsemen don't know what they're talking about. Now, it's a little bit of a storyline, but what I'm saying to you is this like, like without going too far ahead into the future, or without going too far in the past because the past is behind me, I want to say this. I knew Floyd Mayweather Manny Pacquiao was going to happen before many of you. But with the trials and tribulations of being some guy who wears a hoodie and a hat with a background with a picture of Al Heyman in a Philadelphia sports, I mean a Philadelphia boxing event. I understood that people wouldn't believe me, but at the same time, with my official sources, I was told by my official source, my official source said, listen, you'll be the biggest fool in history. Now, this was after the fact, after he told me, if you didn't do that video. I remember I got the call, he said, yo, I'm here right now. Floyd fighting Pacquiao. I'm on the phone, I'm like, oh yeah. This is exact by exact words. I was like, oh yeah. He was like, yo, listen, do the video. And there was some explicit, you know, language, but basically he was like, boop, 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 you bitch ass, boop, 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 do the video. I did the video. The rest is history. So listen, here's the names. The front runner was Kell Brook. I don't know who he's fighting, you know why? Because put it this way, I like to be open and honest with um, my followers my fans, my supporters. If I was to go and say certain information, then basically that would make me a rat to the person who's given me information. So therefore, I gotta twist shit up a little bit. You know, I gotta put it in my own words. So therefore, I don't trace back to such and such. But, at this point in time, they're keeping that shit quiet. 
when I say that the, of the names that I'm hearing, I don't know for sure. I know I know who I'm being told, but at the same time, this is not like what made with the Pacquiao when I knew for sure. I don't like I, I'm I'm hearing a name, but I can't tell you. Like if it makes sense, I can't I can't tell you. I can't tell you, especially go back and look at my 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 pre. Mayweather versus Pacquiao official announcement videos. Go back and see all the bullshit people were giving me. So in this situation, I just can't do it. Thank you, Aaron Heyman. I just can't do it. So whether you believe that T Street knows or not, that's all up to you. But what I will say is this: here's the front runners. Cal Brook, IBF champion of the world at 147 pounds. Very lucrative fight for Floyd Mayweather. Kell Brook has a lot of momentum, even though he has wins over JoJo Dan and Frankie Gavin, who fans feel that, well, they were lesser opponents. Still, Kell Brook has a lot of momentum. Amir Khan is, of course, he's in the mix right now. He's um, um, in Ramadan, you know, satisfying his, um, um, his religious obligations. And Ramadan is over July the 17th, but he'll still be able to have a full eight-week training camp if you include fight week. You got people that are saying Keith one time, but I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman is fighting in less than 30 hours from now against Luis Colazzo. Very strange, strange rumors about Mayweather versus Golovkin. Will it happen? Will HBO allow it? I don't know. Even though Golovkin had a four fight deal, um, if I'm correct, um, shout out to Ine, um, one of my um, admins, and he will stay, one of my admins on my um, T-Street Controversy like page his his HBO deal four fight deal started with Daniel Gill it was Daniel Gill Martin Murray Willie Monroe and who else I'm missing another name in between there I'm sorry I do my videos live and uncut sometimes I forget Andre Berto fans have been saying Floyd Mayweather needs to fight a black fighter Floyd Mayweather don't fight black fighters he fights on Mexican holidays against Hispanic speaking fighters. You got Andre Berto. Floyd Mayweather is telling us Kareem Mayfield, but it won't be Kareem Mayfield. If it's Kareem, if, like, it'll be Andre Berto before Kareem Mayfield. Thank you, Al Heyman. So, what other names are we hearing out there? Miguel Cotto, you'll be a fool to believe that's going to happen. With the whole Rock Nation Al Heyman beef and Miguel Cotto is going to be fighting Canelo sometime in November. So, honestly, boxing fans, listen. You got to you 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 got you got to look at you got to go with you know. Now, look at this. If Floyd Mayweather fights on pay-per-view against Andre Berto, what are the chances that that pay-per-view will reach 1 million pay-per-view buys? If it reaches 1 million pay-per-view buys, then that'll be a huge success. And also, if it reaches 1 million pay-per-view buys, that may be because of the Mayweather Pacquiao rollover effect of pay-per-view buys. If you get what I'm saying, because people, for example, the official numbers for Mayweather versus Pacquiao domestic is 4.4 million pay-per-view buys. So you would think, well, Mayweather next fight, or Pacquiao's next fight, since they had that big number, their next fight is going to at least get a million, right? If Mayweather fights Amir Khan, I was at the Amir Khan fight live as media. 7,500 in attendance. Amir Khan just does not have the, like, put it this way. I, I would love, see, people get it confused. Just because I work with B Real TV, people think I'm just an Amir Khan fan. No. I would love to see an Amir Khan, no, one well, A side, Mayweather versus Amir Khan fight. Because I would love to see how that hand speed matches up. Also, Floyd Mayweather is not the type of fighter at this age, 38 years old, going on 39, with his 26 KOs. He's not going to be, he's not knocking people out. But at the same time, if Amir Khan is getting touched up by an 8 KO Chris Algieri, then I'm thinking Floyd Mayweather has the most accurate right hand in the business. Could he at least put Amir Khan down? At least once. Khan may get up, but can he put him down once? I would love to see the fight, but at the same time, Amir Khan doesn't deserve it. You got Kell Brook. Kell Brook is a bit of a confusing boxing specimen because you don't know exactly what he is yet. Now, I've been following Kell Brook since 2010. I've covered all of his fights 
since 2010. Both of them against Carlson Jones. And then all those in-between fights when he's going to fight Devin Alexander. Covered all that. So, I got Mayweather beating Kell Brook e like easier than he would beat Amir Khan. But Kell Brook is undefeated. And Kell Brook has a title. Amir Khan should have fought Kell Brook. Amir Khan would have likely had that title. But guess what? If Amir Khan would have fought Kell Brook and Amir Khan would have been defeated by Kell Brook, Amir Khan's career would have been over. Also, Amir Khan, if Floyd Mayweather picks Kell Brook over Amir Khan, how goddamn dumb does that make Amir Khan look? So, there's so many different factors. Now, if Floyd Mayweather fights GGG, we've been hearing rumors that Golovkin has been trimming down to 154 pounds, and then whoever he fights next, he'll be fighting, if, if I put it this way, if it's not Mayweather, he'll be fighting at a small 160 pounds, meaning he might weigh in like 157, something like that. But could it happen? We don't know. Let's talk about the WBO situation. If you don't know, Floyd Mayweather won a WBO championship against Manny Pacquiao. Floyd Mayweather was stripped of the WBO championship that he never received because he didn't pay the $200,000 sanctioning fee. So basically, this is the way I look at it. Floyd and Manny fought for the WBA, no, excuse me, the WBC, the ring, WBA Super World, and WBO championships at 147 pounds. It was signed all on paper. So therefore, if Floyd Mayweather was supposed to win, if Floyd Mayweather won, he would have been WBO, no, he would have been, you know, had all those belts. But guess what? He never paid the sanctioning fee. And something is telling me that the WBO knew that he would not pay the sanctioning fee because they never sent him his belt. But long story short, even though Mayweather was stripped, he never paid them any money and he fought for the title. That's crazy. You know, you got to understand how the boxing politics with the belts work to the point where he fought for the belt. He won the belt and didn't give him any bread and then wanted his belt that... They just said, they basically said, no, we're not sending you your belt till you give us our bread. And when it comes to these boxing, these sanctioning bodies, I've noticed that all they want is their money. Moving on. Um, the whole situation is confusing. If you don't know, the SB Awards is coming up. And um, I am hearing that with this whole Al Heyman PBC thing, that Floyd Mayweather may announce his fight during the SBs or around the SBs. Don't hold it to me. It's going to be some fans out there that are going to say, Oh, T-Street, you said this. Come on, man. Get out of here with that bullshit. I got a lot of work to do. There's so much to talk about. But at the same time, I don't want to be doing no half-hour, 40-minute videos, especially when my voice is, uh, Then I got like six, seven hours of videos to upload. It's 7, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I've been up since 3 a.m. So listen. I'm T Street Controversy with RealCombatMedia.com. You can't say I haven't been keeping you in the loop because I've been telling you everything that's been going on with the WBO situation, with the Mayweather situation. Oh, and since this is the end of the video, I'll say this. Um, let me put my glass down. A lot of things have been happening over the last. 11 months with T-Street Controversy and RealCombatMedia.com So I will say this I know that I have a reputation of having to prove people wrong I'll say this There's a good chance I'll be in Vegas during fight week Not for the fight, we'll have one of our guys there But I'll be in Vegas during fight week I'm trimming down I'm getting in shape I'm going to put a nice pair of slacks on, nice tucked in business shirt. And you may see me there. Maybe at Mayweather Gym during a media workout. Maybe at the final press conference for whoever he's fighting next. Who knows? Well, leave it at that. T Street Controversy on Twitter, T Street Controversy on Facebook, T Street Controversy on Instagram, T Street Controversy on Google. Teach you controversy on Tumblr, teach you controversy on Pinterest, Real Combat Media, teach you controversy, teach you controversy live.